Hi everyone, Cheryl Hardy here again. Uh, I'm just going to uh, show you today how to use a macro to um, populate a crawl with uh, a text file. So information in a text file. So what I've done is I've grabbed some information off our website right here uh, about Lyric Pro 7. Get it now. Um, and I've put that into a text document. Uh, so you see the information there. Now if I go over to Lyric, um, I have this macro. And what it does is, if I have a crawl called 2D Crawl 1, it populates it with the information of uh, whatever my, my text document is. So you put the path of it, including the .dot uh, .file format in quotes. Uh, notice that I'm on the C drive, but you shouldn't be. It's it's naughty. Um, so, of course, you would be on the I drive, obviously. Um, great. So, if I now create an object called 2D Crawl 1, which is by default the name of the first crawl that you add to your message, and I make it bigger so we can see it go completely on and off the screen, and move it down a bit. There we are. Now, if I run this macro right here by pressing the play selected macro button, you see that it's filled in the information of my crawl. So I'm just going to use the old fashioned way and enter spaces in to put my uh, text fully off screen, like so. And I can test it, and there we are with my scroll bar all the way to the left. My text is completely off screen. Now, uh, I've got my default length of animation is only 24 frames, so that's probably a bit quick for a crawl of this much information. So rather than even show you what it's going to look like and give you a seizure, uh, if I move my, my virtual frame buffer here, I can go to the animation tab. And I can change my uh, duration if I have a specific duration, or I can change the rate. Uh, I think I'll put the rate at 10 pixels per frame, and I will apply that uh, change proportionally. So now my duration is 48.05 for my entire crawl. I'll put that guy back there. So now that's all it takes. I can send it to air. Uh, using control play and there you are. If that's too quick for you again you can go back and alter it. Um, obviously you probably will want to be able to check these things out uh, before you put it to air but um, if any any sort of editing of the text you can just do write to the text file, resave it, rerun the macro. Hope that was helpful! Take care, and uh, any more requests for information, please, please send them along.